Hey guys, Lucky Spring 696 here. Went to the gun show yesterday with my brother's Picot 58 and Tadpole 696. We met Pete, and Pete's a cool guy from the Armory Channel. Saw him for about a half an hour, hour, walked around, checked out the gun show. This video is going to be pretty much me showing you what I got at the gun show. So, let's get started. To start off with, I got myself a nice cleaning kit in a wooden box. It has almost every caliber and gauge so I should be able to clean handguns, rifles, shotguns and I haven't had a chance to use it because all the guns I have here are clean at the moment so I'll have to be getting out to the rain soon so I can use this. Um, the name on it's Outers. I've never heard of the name but it's a complete set and I'm happy with it. It comes with copper brushes, the mops, the plug so you can run on um, the cleaning pads through it. So that's a pretty complete set. I got a pair of earmuffs for hearing protection. Good price. Got another set of safety goggles, or safety glasses I should say. They're not actually goggles. Oh, Ebony will like this. Got myself one of the 50 caliber bottle openers. This is to you, Ebomi. Alright, back to what else I got. Got myself another ammo can for 50 caliber. Um, this is what I'm going to be storing all my bulk ammo that I collect and that I'm going to be, I guess, hoarding. Because I, I want to have some ammo on hand in case the shit hits the fan. Got myself nice Smith & Wesson tin sign that I'm probably going to put like maybe right here on the wall. Either here or above this sign. I haven't decided yet. I think I'm going to go next to it though. We got my wife a gift while I was there. It's a nice little knife. It's all, she, she thinks it's pretty so it's good. It kept her happy. Made an excuse for me to get all this other stuff for myself so She's happy with her new knife. Um, not really sure what brand it is, but I just like the way it feels. Got to sharpen it up a little bit, though. And pretty much lastly, I got a few zombie targets. Oh. Okay, come on. It's pretty much the zombie pizza man. Gun show was good. It was out in Oaks, PA. I think it had 700 tables. And it was pretty much um, a good gun show. It was the first gun show I went to where I actually needed stuff. So it worked out. Didn't get any ammo because I really wasn't there for ammo. Went out to Dick's Sporting Goods today. They didn't have any really 40 caliber ammo. The only thing they had was blazers which is steel cased and my range doesn't let us use steel cased and you can't reload it so why would I use it? Um, so I wasn't too impressed with um, Dick's Sporting Goods because they don't even carry handguns, they can't carry handguns or anything like that. Um, that was pretty much it. It was a good gun show though. All this stuff ran me about a hundred bucks. Cleaning kit was the most expensive but I'm happy with the haul I got and wife likes her knife so and I'm really happy I got one of these because for a while I couldn't find any for a good price this, this was only nine bucks online they're like 20 25 bucks so that was a pretty good deal and um, that's about it guys so thanks for watching this is to all I use out there a nice cold beer Oh. And to everybody out there who don't know what this is, it's Yingling. I know out in Minnesota, Ebomi's liquor store didn't have this. They asked me, what's Yingling? It's America's oldest brewery. I figured everyone in America would know what Yingling was. So, anyone who can find this, Yingling's a pretty good fucking beer. So, try it out and take easy, guys, and be safe.